Hi there! Do you want to know how to get more out of your brand new camera but don't know what settings to use? Here's some tips and tricks just how to do that. I will show you two clips. One shot all on automatic settings and the second one shot on manual settings. Looking like a professional video shot on a professional expensive camera. There's three settings you should look after. It's your shutter speed, your ISO level, and your aperture. Let's start with the shutter speed. So the thing with shutter speed, it can be either too low or too high, creating too much motion blur and creating too little motion blur. The perfect gap is when it's on double the frame rate. This is what most cinematic cameras are set on, which means if your camera is 25 frames per second, you just double that. So it means it's gonna be 1 50th, or if you're shooting 60 frames or any higher, just do the same, times two, and you have your shutter speed. If it's lower than that, it will just be too blurry. Whenever you use ISO, it should always be at the lowest it can be because if it's higher that means it creates noise by making the shot more brighter only time where you should use ISO when there's no lighting available or when you just want that look because it will create a lot of noise the higher it goes newer cameras are much better at taking high ISO and having no noise at all while older cameras will have a lot of noise even in low ISO Last thing is aperture. Aperture, the more open it is, the more depth of field you have, bokeh. But this also has a side effect. Everything becomes more blurry and cloudy because the sharpness and clarity is lower. The more closer you have the aperture, gets closer, the higher the number because low aperture is lower number and high aperture is higher number. The lower aperture is more bokeh, higher is less bokeh but everything's in focus there's more clarity but there's no depth of field behind you so everything is visible sometimes it's good for vlogging so those are the most three important things for me, the most important is depth of field. I like to have my subject focused and the background to be blurry. That's why I have this lens, for example, is 1.2 aperture, which is extremely open, which lets a lot of light in, which creates this awesome depth of field bokeh. And I like to use mostly natural light, but that's how I film. It's up to you how you like it. Maybe you like a lot of noise. Maybe you don't like depth of field at all and you just like everything focused and see everything. For human eye, that's really confusing and not understandable what's going on when there's no focus on one subject. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I film. If you have any questions, leave the comment down below and I'll try to answer all of them. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Although I was not in the shot and I didn't talk that much, but... She talks a lot every every vlog, so you don't, you're probably not missing it. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this video, and and we'll see you tomorrow, where I will be talking. Daily, daily. vlog. <laughs> you were supposed to say it. Ow! Oh, oh you okay? No. Oh, I hurt my ankle. Oh. Oh. oh.
I guess that's it. It's over.